right. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ICE's Yusuf Isha Institute. Welcome to our Malaysian Studies Program seminar this morning. The uh, Pakatan Harapan government is now in power for slightly more than a year now. Uh, if one recall that uh, it got to power wanting to eradicate corruption, revive the economy, and uh, more importantly, to tackle the 1MDB issue. Pakatan Harapan, led by Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad, successfully did what many observers call a miracle, uh, ending the 61-year-old rule of UMNO. In the last one year, however, it was hit by many uh, problems and issues, particularly groups uh, playing the ethnic and religious card. Uh, one remarkable incident was the ICERT rally, which was held last year, which pressured the government to reverse its plans to uh, ratify the uh, UN Convention. Later, the Pakatan Harapan government also had to withdraw uh, from the Rome, Rome Statute. Talks of AMNO past unity have also been revived. Of course, this, as many of you know, that uh, was started uh, towards the end of the Najib Razak government, the talks of uh, unity between AMNO and PAS, but today it's, it's more and more important. And he has also led to three back-to-back uh, -back, uh, defeats of Pakatan Harapan in by elections. Uh, lately, Pakatan Harapan government has been embroiled in many controversies. Um, of course, the recent uh, Jawi calligraphy or hut to, uh, in, in vernacular schools. Um, so these are some of the issues that uh, has been uh, talked about. Uh, and uh, the Malaysian Studies Program uh, at this institute will be coordinating a series of talks uh, looking at the future of uh, Malay politics in Malaysia post uh, G14. So we are very happy uh, to kickstart uh, this uh, series. It is a, a very uh, well-known uh, uh, academic. Um, he, is, uh, he needs no introduction. He is uh, Dr. Uh, Dato Dr. Ahmad uh, Farabusa, who is a founder and director at the Islamic uh, Renaissance Front, which is a think tank advocating for reform and renewal uh, in Islam. He is an academic researcher at Monash University, Malaysia, and a, uh, a cardio uh, surgeon uh, uh, by profession. So he's been actively involved, and uh, I must say that uh, Dr. Farouk is a leading thinker and uh, one of the few uh, progressive voices uh, promoting uh, progressive Islam uh, in contemporary Malaysia. So today, uh, Dr. Farouk will be uh, giving some insights uh, into the situation under the Pahartan Harapan correlation, uh, looking at uh, the uh, Malays and Islam. So, uh, Dr. Farouk will be uh, speaking for about 40 minutes and then I'll open the floor for questions and answers. So, without further ado, may I now invite Dr. Farouk, please. <laughs> 